And the Blue Devils had a field day from long range, hitting 14 threes to beat the Demon Deeks by 23. So, Gary Williams taped a practice three-point line three feet farther out than the real one to work on extending the Terps' defense against Duke's Mad Bombers. Duke had lost an ACC game since Maryland's upset win last year. Blue Devils down 10 with 54 seconds to play, but Maryland turns over the inbound, and Jason Williams drops a three to pull Duke within five. After two Maryland misses at the free throw line, Williams... Another three, he had 25. Gary Williams is freaking out. Duke within two. 40 seconds left, and the Terps throw it away. Nate James comes up with a steal. Same possession, Mike Dunleavy for the lead. No, but James is fouled. He hit both free throws. We're tied at 90. Under five seconds left. Now, Maryland can still pull this thing out. Drew Nichols for the win. We're going to overtime, Gary Williams. How did you let a 10-point lead get away with 54 seconds left? In OT, tied at 92, Shane Battier for three. He had 20 points and scored Duke's last six points at the overtime. Under 10 seconds now. Juan Dixon drive it in, down two, but Battier is there for the big defensive play. Williams runs out the clock, and Duke steals one at Maryland, extending its ACC road winning streak to 23 games. The win over the Terps is the Blue Devils' fourth straight. They've now won 13 over the last 15 at Maryland's Cole Fieldhouse. Duke has won nine straight overall since that one-point loss to number one Stanford. Brian Brown and Ohio State welcoming number three Michigan State to Columbus on Saturday. Second half, Brent Darby for three. A 16-2 Ohio State run, 11 for Darby. Later, Brown faking, driving, and going glass. He was 8 of 13 from the field. Late second half now, it's more Brown coming off the screen. He's got a double team, but he's going to put it up anyway. Kirk Herbstreet, your thoughts? A career-high 25 for Brian Brown, and Ohio State knocks off Michigan State 64-55. This, just six days after the Spartans bury the Buckeyes 71-56 in East Lansing. Michigan State starting backcourt of Charlie Bell and Marcus Taylor, combining to hit only five of 21 shots with Bell battling the flu bug. Number five, Tennessee visiting Georgia. We are already in the second overtime. Ron Slay back it in. Sean Coleman, two of his 14. But the Bulldogs not going to go away. Chris Daniels driving. He had only six points, but got two big baskets in the second overtime here. Here's the other one. Closing seconds. Richard Wright outlets to Daniels. Georgia up two with 7.3 seconds left, and they hold on. The Bulldogs upset number five, Tennessee, in double overtime. The Vols had won the previous four meetings between these two by an average of just under 18 points. Georgia only 13-7 and seven overall, but now 6-1 and one in the SEC. This after winning only three conference games all of last year. And on Washington State, good ball movement, and Casey Jacobson, he had just 11-7 below his season average. The gutty, gutsy Cougars hanging around. Marcus Moore to Mike Bush. Oh! Somehow he finagles that one down. He had 23. Do we have an upset brewing? The short answer is no. Jaron Collins throwing one down. Jaron had 18. Jason had 18. Very symmetric afternoon for the Collins twins. And Stanford wins at 72-61. They set a school record in the process for most consecutive wins to start a season as they go to 19-0. The last undefeated team in Division I. The Cougars playing without leading scorer Eddie Miller, who was dismissed from the team for violating curfew last week. In the Battle of the Sunflower State, KU over K-State by a lot. Roy Williams now 30-4 and four against the Wildcats in his time in Lawrence. Kansas leads the nation in shooting percentage. The Cats led by Phineas Atchison, who had 28. To the Big East, Notre Dame, number 11, Georgetown. Wesley Wilson, oh, just throwing one down. Georgetown by four, they're up six at the break. Second half, here comes Notre Dame, and here comes Ryan Humphrey. He had 17 and 10 boards. Notre Dame cuts it to two. And then Troy Murphy finding David Graves. There he is. Brimcamp. Bingo. Notre Dame down by three at that juncture. Still down by three. Martin Inglesby launching parabolas. We're all tied up. Notre Dame taking the four point lead and Harold Swanigan. Harold! Off the window. Notre Dame goes on to win this one, 78 to 71. A good week for the Irish, who beat number eight Syracuse on Tuesday. Just four of 15 on the day, but he does knock this one down at the end of the first half. But wait, there's more time. Jason Gardner, heave ho! Oh, off the window. Wildcats up 10 at the break. Second half, 
Lauren Woods, thank you. He had 10, Arizona 14, and then Gilbert Arenas coming up with the steal. Stop, thief! Arenas had 16, Arizona wins at 80 to 52. Zona has won six in a row. The Cats unbeaten since Lute Olsen returned to the bench. Syracuse over Rutgers, Damone Brown with 28 and 7. Florida second half, USC with some defense. Jamel Bradley leading the two on one. And the Gamecocks convert. Billy Donovan doing his Wendell Kim impression. Florida responds. Brett Nelson the steal. He had 22. Gators close the game on a 14 to 2 run. And win 69 57. They're now 3 and 3 in the SEC. We stay in the conference. Auburn and 15th ranked Alabama. Under a minute left. Auburn down to Adam Harrington. Pump fake for three. Auburn's first lead since midway through the first half. After two Alabama free throws, Jamison Brewer. Going to go the length of the floor in a tie game. Final seconds, no good. Alabama was up one after the free throw, and they hold on to improve to five and two in the conference. Ole Miss and Mississippi State second half. Guy Gardner going all the way. Mississippi State beating Ole Miss for the fourth great time. Bulldogs have won 16 of 18 against the Rebels in Starkville. To the Big East, number 19, Seton Hall at West Virginia. First half, it's Eddie Griffin. 19 points, 10 rebounds, but Griffin had just four points in the second half when West Virginia came back. Up one, under 40 seconds left. This is the very definition of a mad scramble. Gorgeous tip pass to Calvin Bowman, two was 26. West Virginia's first win over a ranked opponent since December of 98. In the Big Ten, Iowa's Luke Recker with 27 against his former team. Hawkeyes come from 19 down. On a campus, Texas A&M, all too familiar with tragedy. Remember the bonfire accident? A moment of silence for the Oklahoma State tragedy. For the game in the first half, Iowa State up 25-13. Jamal Tinsley, Jake Sullivan, he had a three, he had 14. Iowa State, a winner 72-53. The Cyclones hit 16 free throws in the first half alone. They get a break on the schedule. A DePaul team they've beaten eight straight times coming in. And in between, Coach Denny Crum meets with the Louisville AD and says he will be back next season. Yes, a very busy week. The future's now. The Blue Demons at Louisville. And we pick it up here first half. Rashawn Burno for DePaul. He hits the triple. And second half, Louisville down 10. And man, are they coming back. Marcus Maven missed 13 in his first 18 shots. But check him out here. Next trip down. Super size it, three ball, 12-3 Louisville run, more Mabin. He's going to go El Grande with the field goal, a game high 30, ninth straight win over to Paul. Louisville wins by 10. Kentucky looking to snap a two-game losing streak, taking on Vanderbilt. Eric Daniels to Marquise Estel, two hands right there. Tubby Smith is going to like that internally on the inside. More Kentucky D. Cliff Hawks the steal. Cliff Hawks and forget about that one. Kentucky leads 34-27 at the half. Second half, Vandy would respond. And Vandy comes back with the big triple. Matt Frege, and he nails it. Tubby Smith, oh, that's not good. Later in the half, though, Kentucky would put this one away. Saul Smith, the Tayshawn Prince, he hits 15 of his points, and they win 86-70. Demetrius Shaw getting the steal. A nice lay-in. Shaw would have four picks today. Kent State up early, 19-6. to That's pretty off the window. Tough day offensively from Bowling Green. Here they score in transition. John M. Almondson, they're the big one, but they trailed by 19. Then Kyra Massey, a strong day, getting the three of his 13. Kent State, nine for 21 from three-point range. Bowling Green the other way. Oh, swatted. Andrew Mitchell, yeah, in the face. Second half, Mitchell on the offense now. The three finished with 13, 48-27 Kent State. BG played better in the second half. Keith McLeod, two of his 16. But the first half deficit, too hard to catch up. Shaw, another pick, the lay-in. Game high 24, Coach Dan Dockage can't watch anymore. 81-57, here are the rest of your college scores. Syracuse Georgetown Sports Center Showcase Highlight Material. First half very early, Alan Griffin passing to Damone Brown for the dunk. Brown 11 in the first half. Later in the first, Preston Schumpert getting into things, going the length of the floor, laying it in, and he's fouled. The free throw gives the Orange a 13-point lead. Still in the first, Schumpert drives. You like the kid that can hit the short jumper, pulls up. Schumpert at 18 in the first half. Orange up 15, but in the second half, Boy is down only five. They turn 13 off the lead, and it gets a little ugly. Demetrius Hunter on the break. Allen Griffin fouls him hard, and they're going to go at it. 
in the scuffle. Let's watch number 50. Wesley Wilson, run a little punch, go to the office. You have been bad. No more basketball for you. Cues up five. Sean Williams, three of his 14. Cues up eight. Then Alan Griffin again. He's from far away. You get three points. Orange, three of six on threes in the second half after going 0 for 10 in the first. Hoy is still fighting back from 14 down. Leaves now six. Next Hoya possession, Mike Sweetney. He's doing stuff. The Hoyas are down four, but the Q's going to pull away. Griffin ahead to Damone Brown on the break. Brown will finish with 23. Q's up six. Preston Chumpert also had 23. The Q's had 70. Their opponent, 63. Seven straight times Syracuse has beaten the Hoyas in the regular season. In Columbia, Missouri, Roy Williams, during a moment of silence for the victims of the Oklahoma State basketball plane crash, they wore orange and black ribbons as well. They had trouble, KU, early. Kirk Heinrich, he was 3 of 12. Drew Gooden misses from close. KU, 35% shooting in the half. Meanwhile, Kareem Rush, Jayhawks taste like chicken. Tigers up 14 at the half. At the half, Missouri honoring former coach Norm Stewart. They named the home floor in. That's right, it's the Hearn Center. Norm Stewart Court. Second half, though, it was the Jayhawks who came out storming. Jeff Boshi to Heinrich for two. And then from much farther out, Boshi, Heinrich, part of an 18 zip Kansas run, and they went up 44 43. Let's call on Rush. The tough fadeaway. The kid had 27 points, and the Tigers are up three. Less than five to go. Tigers up six. Brian Grower, the senior co-captain, four of seven from three, 14 points. And now Norman and his crew are storming, and the Tigers upset Kansas 75-66. Mizzou snaps.